Yeah, the reason I chose this V-twin is I like the monoshock, I like the open V-twin look. I ride a uh, KTM Super Duke for my normal bike, and so I like the power that the V-twins give with that good, nice mid-range. I like that this monoshock allowed to fabricate, you know, more recent, modern suspension, and it rides really good. It's a good, nice little city bike. I mean, I don't think you could take it over 80 and feel too comfortable, but it's a, it's a nice little tool around bike. Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, this is my 82 920 Virago, and uh, JTEC built it. I saw a lot of stuff that he was doing. I knew that he did a bunch of Viragos, so I took it to a guy that kind of knew the engines, knew the fabrications. I had a lot of fun. It was course over probably three or four months. I was on eBay every day buying parts, and it was fun to see this thing come together. This seat is a Moto Lanta seat out of Thailand. I went to their site, was able to buy that. They shipped it, I think it was like 300 bucks all in, maybe 250. The tank is a Kawasaki KZ650 tank. All right, the rear shock is an MV Agusta. I'm not sure which model it's that. I think that's sport bike, like the F3 or something. I uh, found that on eBay. I just looked up MV Agusta rear shock. Uh, Jeff had to weld up in here because it's shorter than the stock. I think it's two, two inches shorter than the stock. So in here, there's, uh, there's plates that it bolts into to get that stance. Hi, my name is uh, Jeffrey Andango from, of JTEC Moto. Uh, here we have a uh, XV920. So the client uh, basically brought the frame and the tank, all separate, and the engine basically all in pieces. And he made a, a mock up for me of how he wanted it to look like. So I followed this exact blueprint, and I think we got pretty close. And over here we have a COSO gauge. Just we wanted to try it out. Um, I kind of like the the display better on the Coso, but the Ace Well housing is all aluminum. It looks more vintage. This is more of a modern uh, modern feel to it. Um, but I like both. Hide in clip ons. The controls are all R6. This is off a of KTM, I believe. The client liked the um, the flash, the flash flashing switch to flash people up ahead. So go ahead and modify that for him. This is the stock Farago headlight housing. Turned it around, upside down. Put a little uh, rod tie. Um, then tucked it up close to the to the body. This is a projector with integrated signals on the left and right. Uh, these are just random eBay. Random eBay headlight projector housing. You find them. This is a, a flexible LED uh, LED strips made by Radiance. Uh, we went ahead and put two of them. So this is like the running lights, and then when you press the brake, the top one lights up, and it has its own integrated um, tele, uh, signals on it as well. The front end is Alpha R6, uh, the entire front end. The caliper's wheel. Uh, rotors, triple trees, they're all R6. We went ahead and threw some steel braided brake lines with the setup. Uh, the tires are Avon, Avon tires, but the wheel is R6. So this is a, a factory 920 bike. We bored it out to 980, got bigger pistons, bumped it up a little bit. Uh, we went with the stock carbs, just jetted it. This is a full stainless steel exhaust I fabricated. It's two separate pieces. The front one stops over here and it's separated over here with the rear. Uh, the rear glues off, pipes down, and it's, it's uh, not connected at all. These are Tarosi rear sets. Rear fender we added on. <clears throat> it's um, the stock rear fender and we kind of chopped off the tip of it and add it as like a, a little mini flared up fender. Uh, this is the stock Virago wheel. The client wanted the stock Virago wheel, the old swirly style type. 
but it's uh, it is 16 though, so a little bit bigger.